Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's V Blaze here, and we are finally, I think, finally starting the brothel challenge. <sighs> Woo! Okay, so let me set my timer first things first. I always forget to do this. Set and okay. So this is the first part of my challenge and let's see, I'm going to go over the rules really, really quickly. Well, first things first, we have to get rid of all of her money. That's one thing. So money, I think we have to do testing cheats on money zero. All right. So basically uh, in case you guys have never heard of the brothel challenge um, basically I mean you know I'm gonna try to keep this like series rated PG 13 at least but basically um, it's like a, a woohoo house you know so the Sims have to woohoo for money and uh, let me see let me see I'm trying to look for this challenge these rules challenge i'm currently looking at the black widow challenge rules because i'm i'm just playing that on my own time the black widow challenge because i need like a challenge to do off camera because you know i get bored of regular gameplay when i play by myself sometimes um let me see bookmarks no not the bookmarks bar other bookmarks sorry i'm trying to look at the um where is it where is it? The 100 baby challenge. I am also doing... Well, I'm going to start the... Uh, the uh, 100 baby challenge pretty soon. I would say probably once I'm like halfway through the brothel challenge, I'll probably start the 100 baby challenge. Just because that challenge, oh my gosh, is going to be so long. Okay, I cannot find it. Um... It's going to be so long, so that is going to be a doozy. Let me see. Okay, I have to search up the rules because I don't know where it is. I thought I bookmarked it, but I, I bookmarked it, but I guess not. So let's just... Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so basically we're going to be staying on a community lot. We're not going to be staying here. This is her home lot right now. And uh, basically there's nothing here. There's just like a tree and a mailbox and uh, a bush to pee in but um she also does have like a tent i did buy her a tent which oh somebody downloaded her nice um but yes we're not going to be staying here so we're just going to pick some strawberries real quick since she doesn't have any money and uh figure it'd be nice to have um so she's not going to get any money until she has her first woohoo so, food is going to be real scarce right now. So, she's going to eat a strawberry. She's going to be dirt, dirt poor. Dirt poor. Poor. That did nothing. Okay, eat another one. Alright, let's go on and travel. So, we must live on a community lot. Either a bar or a nightclub. Or if you have city living, it can be a karaoke bar. So, this is the karaoke bar we will be working at. Um, okay, so there are requirements. Okay, so I did break the rules a little bit, and I'm going to explain why. So there's supposed to be a price limit as to the, the lot, like, value limit. This value is supposed to be, like, less than 100000 But I kind of broke the rules a little bit because I do want them to make money. So, yeah. And did I give the, I gave a lot of traits. So our lot traits are romantic, aura, convi convival, convivial, and on ley line for some reason. I don't know. So if we ever try for a baby on this lot, we are in trouble. Yes, thought I'd make it a little harder. Anyways, so let me give you guys a little tour of the karaoke bar. This is the entrance right here. You know, actually this this can use a little some like more lights real quick let me see now 
lights, 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 outdoor lights. Should I put candles or should I just put like these lights? Maybe these are nice. Let's see. Turn the grid back on. So let's see what we were talking about. Um, oh, yes. I'm going to post the rules. Um, I'm going to link it down below because it's like a lot to read. So, but basically I'll just go over it quickly. And, uh, yes, let me just go to live mode. So this is the entrance way. Over here we have our bar area. Of course it's red. This is our bartender, Shingo. All right. Shingo. I wish I would have made uh, the bartender cuter because then we could sleep with him, but I don't know. We'll see. Basically, we're going to have to sleep with whoever we can find, but at the same time, I'm going to be really picky about it because there's lots of sims that I play with that I don't want to um, ruin their lives and whatever. Um, anyway, these are the bathrooms. Just doing a little quick tour. Since this is a karaoke bar, this is the karaoke performance room. This is Salma. And yes, the sign in the back says sucker. Why? I don't know. Because I guess whoever sings here is like heartbroken and they know that they were a sucker for falling in love. So, yep. Anyways, over here we have a little office room with a, a calendar of women's butts because he is the office. This is the office space of the guy that's in charge of the brothel. So, I mean, we don't know who it is, though. It's like some mysterious person. We also have, like, bushes around the lot as well just in case they want to woohoo there. Anyway, so this is how we get to the brothel area. That's the office. And then we go in through this door, which is like a storage room. And then when you come into the storage room, there's actually a club door here. Which, it's, okay, it's like pink, but it's not really showing the color on the other side. So this is the entranceway to the brothel. And this is like the little waiting room here. I hope you guys can hear me well. This is the little waiting room. And she can't afford to restock the tray. How nice. Um, so yes, this is the waiting room where the men will wait. And then we go downstairs to the hosting area. Let's see. So this is the hosting area. Oh, I'm getting cramps right now. Where we, you know, take the guests downstairs. We talk to them for a little bit, get to know them. Um, or we can also do that at the bar as well. That's probably where we meet the potential clients, have a few drinks, then we come downstairs here and sit and talk for a little bit. And then we go into the double doors here, which lead to the brothel area. So first thing we have this room is as a massage room. We want to give them a little massage before we start. Um, these lights are going to indicate, let me see, if the room is available or if it's, um, biz like occupied. So they're going to be green when they are available and then we will make them red when they are occupied. And I'm actually going to change the lights in this room, this room, I'm going to change it to red make the lights red in here and this too this room red so we have like two areas and we also have the hot tub room in case they want to sit and do woohoo in here this is a hot tub room this is one room sorry I'm trying to just show you guys everything right away but that's one room and the other room they said we need at least two two rooms then so since she's gonna be like practically living here we need like their own living space which i wish we can lock these doors but apparently we cannot 
And this is going to be the living area. She's going to have some other girls with her like a little later on. But this area is supposed to be like dirty and grungy. And I think the brothel area was supposed to be dirty too. Um, it says all furniture in the back room must be of poor quality. This is how you get your start after all. And this is a really awful seedy place. If anything breaks or gets dirty, it's not going to fix itself. You have to get to work. Um, and there must be at least three bedrooms with double beds. Well, he, they said three bedrooms, but I have two. So, whatever. Um, a communal dormitory with at least four single beds, which is what I have right here. This is where the girls will be sleeping on their off time. Communal, communal bed with uh, four single beds. Mm, a kitchenette which is over here we have our poor quality kitchen with like our bar breakfast bar over here and a door um communal bathroom which is over here i was thinking of like just getting rid of the shower so that they can only take baths but like eh, i don't know i'll let them take baths and we have our little garbage over here. I have a little radiator. And that is pretty much it. And let me introduce you to our sim, our main, our main girl that we're going to be working on. So her name is Sasha Rubio. And um, I do have a story for her, actually. Let me see. I don't know if I wrote it over here. But I wrote it down. Where is it? Did I write it again? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I don't think I wrote it over. Basically, um, I wrote like a storyline for all the girls. And um, basically with Sasha's story is that she was like sexually abused as a child by her stepfather. And um, I don't know, because of uh, the, sex the sexual abuse that she had she kind of took that to, uh, I don't know, to the future self. And um, it made her, I don't know, want to have sex for money, I guess. I don't know. I'm still working on that storyline, how it makes sense and how it all ties in together. But basically, she is very, um, like, she's a very, like, what is it called? Non-committal. She has problems with relationships, so she's non-committal. <clears throat> she's uh, materialistic because she likes money, and she's romantic, I guess, because because she likes to woohoo with people. So she's uh, learned to be romantic. I'm trying to look at her earrings. I actually gave her earrings like right in there. Her tragus. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, let's get started. What do we got over here? Lemon. Can we sell the lemon? I don't think we can make money off of anything else except for... Um, don't pick that. Except for woohooing. Yeah, I don't think we can make money off of anything else. Um, but let's see. We have, like, no money, so we need to meet somebody. And there's like nobody here, so we'll just have to wait for someone to come along. And we have no food, so uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. All right, oh, let me see, how much time do I have left? Do, 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 do. I have like less than 20 minutes so okay we have to wait for somebody to come along and there's like nobody here well it's like 8 30 in the morning so uh let's just go ahead and talk to the bartender oh and we can grab some chips too we're gonna do that <clears throat> oh there's uh, my cousin over there yeah. I wish I could lock the doors, but I can't. Which sucks. <sighs> I 
consistency and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to film anything else today like I would love to um, film my not so berry challenge because I love I love my not so berry challenge but it's uh yeah I already filmed my seven toddler challenge and so yeah but yeah on my brothel challenge uh, as I said in my seven toddler challenge if you guys have seen that that I'm not gonna um, upload this video until probably a week after the seven toddler challenge just because you know, in case I have no time to record, I want to at least, like, space out my videos a little bit. Well, we have a girl here. We can just introduce ourselves to her. This is, uh, Claire. And we could woohoo with girls, too, so it doesn't have to be... Alright, can you stop changing your mood? Jesus Christ. It doesn't have to just be males. We can woohoo with females, too. It doesn't matter. And what we've got over here. Is that Bajorn? Yes, it is. Okay, we've got men on the outside. Let's go meet him. We can't meet him, no. What about him? Let's go meet him. I'm gonna go outside and introduce ourselves to people. Okay. Okay, what's, uh, what's going on with my game? Just acting a little slow. Alrighty, alrighty. Also, we're not allowed to have a TV um, downstairs or a bookshelf, but I put the bookshelf in the the hosting area. Are you seriously making him come all the way to you? And here I am. As always, my sim has to be everywhere. Like, everywhere. She has to be everywhere. Go meet somebody. Go meet somebody. Anybody. I'm, I'm so happy that I'm finally, like, putting her in the town. Because I had her. Oh, I can sleep with this girl, I guess. Rico. I can sleep with Rico. Um. Yes. Oh, and this dude. Okay, you know what? I want to do a friendly introduction. We've got the same shirt on. Alright, so we'll talk to him. He'll probably be our first client. Brag about possessions. What possessions? We ain't got nothing. We'll give a heartfelt compliment. Up, oh, I see this guy over here. Oh, he's a teenager. Never mind. Damn this wall. He's a gluten. And he has like creepy looking eyes too. Like look at his face. Let me see. I don't know. He looks a little weird. How old is he? He's an adult. Well, listen. We need a client. So come back over here. We're like. She's like having a conversation with my sim. Sorry, but my sim isn't going to make you any money because you're not sleeping with me. Oh, wait, no, don't hug him. Yeah. Yeah, because then they're going to be doing those stupid poses. Uh, we can do is about vampires. Why not? Discuss interests. Oh, and it's Rico that's singing. Okay. Well. At least if we had a club, then we can, like, lock the doors. Well, I could make the club now. Okay, let me make a club.
So, let's see. Uh, what should I name the club? Um, I want it to be like sensual, but not really too obvious. There was this this movie that I was I was watching. Um, oh no, I'm not gonna call them that. It's a movie that I was watching called the Sex Dolls or Sex Doll. And I was gonna, well, I mean, I wasn't gonna watch it for fun. I was just gonna watch it for, like, research. Um, also, I installed, like, new club icons, which is awesome. I might use that one, or I can use probably something else. Maybe that one. Or that one. I don't know which one to use. Or the woohoo one. The woohoo dolls. The woohoo dolls. I don't know. I guess so. Club Hangout is going to be <sighs> Oasis Springs, the Moulin Rouge. Requirements. Young adult, not married, and uh, trait female. So I don't know if there's anybody that I can add right now. I was gonna think maybe Jade. Let me see, Dina. Um, maybe I can have Jade and then have her, I don't know. Well, we'll just have her, um, we'll just have her by herself for now. Let's see. We need to woohoo with people, with everyone. We need to be romantic. Also, we can drink bar drinks and maybe use the hot tub. Use hot tub and anything else? Anything else? Dance, listen to music, or maybe like sing. We can sing from the karaoke machine. We can sing. Because they're also they'll, they'll also probably be like performers as well, and we're not allowed to be mean to each other. Do not be mean to clubs, the woohoo dolls. Don't be mean to the woohoo dolls. Okay. So we are now a club, and I could make this door locked, or maybe I can lock this door yes club everyone but the woohoo dolls members so we're just locking that door just so only they can get into here and we're gonna do auto lights this room um, yeah I guess that's fine And if anyone, if anyone goes down there, then I guess they'll be like our potential clients. She's getting kind of bored, so we need to do something. Let's see now. Let's start getting a little flirty. Let's compliment appearance. Who's that? Alexander Goth. Never mind. Um, compliment appearance will flirt. Why did I click on her? We'll do a pickup line. We will ask if single, like that matters, but I mean, um, ask risk a question.
<laughs> okay, that lady behind us is like really creepy. Okay. Don't think we'll, we will be able to get him to woohoo right away. At least she's flirty though, and he is single. Ask about love life. We will attempt to seduce, blow a kiss, sexy pose, offer a rose, confess attraction, embrace, exchange numbers, first kiss. Let's see how far we can go with this. Okay, that kind of scared me a little bit. Oh, she's gonna kiss him. We've got a kiss. Take a picture of our first client. All right. What's his name again? Eric? Yeah, Eric. All right. So let's invite him downstairs. Let's add to group. And we will go downstairs together. Come on, don't be scared. You can come in. Is he coming? Hello, Eric, let's go. Hello, where's he going? Um, hello. Sit down here. Where's he going? Get over here. Oh, he has that goofy walk. Ugh. You sing, Rico. Okay. Here we go. And let's... Let's light an incense. Damn it. Don't have money to light an incense. It's fine. Um, let me see now. We have no money to bake anything. At least we can grab like a quick drink from there. All right, we're not allowed to have any money yet. So let's see. Um, okay. Let's ask, ask a risky question. Confess attraction, compliment appearance, blow a kiss. Flirt. Oh, come on, what happened? Oh, no, come on. Oh, he's hungry. Okay, let's give him a massage and then we will... Oh, there's no food that I can give him. Oh wait, no, where is he going? I don't think we can woohoo already. Oh, we can. All right, let's try to do that real quick. Let's go and woohoo. Let's try and do that. Don't leave, please don't leave. Come back. 
And she really has to pee. All right, let's try and do that real quick. I hope she doesn't pee on herself. You can do it, you can do it. Hold it in. Which is really bad for you. It's actually really bad to like have to pee before you have sex. Yeah. Why is she wearing those PJs? Come on, I gave you sexy ones for a reason. <sighs> Come on. Those are your sleeping PJs. And then afterwards you can go use the bathroom. We're doing woohoo. And let's see. Yes, and as soon as you woohoo with them, you earn 1,000 simoleons. Every, every woohoo earns 1,000 simoleons. So we just got 1,000 simoleons. And we can use the ka-ching cheat. So we do ka-ching. And we just got paid. Yay! For our first client. And I'm going to end this part here. I hope you enjoyed my first part of my brothel challenge. This is my first time ever doing this challenge. So hopefully it's, you know, pretty enjoyable. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you watched this, you can go to the bathroom now. You earned your trip to the bathroom. I hope you guys enjoy this. And hope you stay tuned for more of my brothel challenge. Anyways, I will see you guys. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I will see you guys another time. Bye, guys.